Greetings Bibliophiles, Kent Sean here, and today I review the first book in Lev Grossman's series, The Magicians. But before we get into it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss one shingle in our leaky literary rooftop. Here's what my friend and snappy dresser, George R. 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 Martin, says about Lev Grossman's The Magicians. The Magicians is to Harry Potter, as a shot of Irish whiskey is to a glass of weak tea. Dark and dangerous and full of twists. Not sure what kind of whiskey you're drinking, George. This is going to be a spoiler-free review, so if you haven't read it, don't panic. You're going to be okay. Don't be scared. Our protagonist, Quentin Coldwater, is a teenager from Brooklyn who's basically a genius boy child obsessed with a children's book series called Fillory and Further. Pretty much the Chronicles of Narnia. Duh. When Quentin's alumni interview for Princeton goes haywire, he gets a far more mysterious invitation from a much different institution of higher learning, Break Bills College. Break Bills doesn't teach engineering or critical snob theory. It doesn't even have an English department. The only thing you come to Break Bills to learn is magic. Magic is not that hard. I mean, check it out. At first, the story reads like a college-aged Harry Potter, but with a lot more drinking and sex. Quentin discovers that though he gains great power through his magical studies, without a purpose to apply it, it all feels kind of empty. This leads to lots of boredom, sleeping around, and lots and lots of booze. Disgraceful. I'm gonna go for it. How dare you! Grossman creates a bevy of memorable characters from Quentin's professors to his classmates. While I was reading the novel, it didn't really occur to me, but later on I realized that Grossman really mined a lot of common teenage drama tropes. There's Penny, the rebel punk with a mohawk, Alice, the nerdy, glasses-wearing, extremely stacked hot chick, the chubby ne'er-do-well, and Quentin himself, the super whiny, angry youth who's also incredibly talented and sought after sexually by every guy and gal he meets, not to mention, he is hopelessly unable to get past his childhood. I've never heard that one before. Despite these obvious, trope-typical characters, the twist in the story kept me flipping pages, and Grossman's funny, clever, and often beautiful prose was more than enough to keep me wanting more. Give the magicians 77 stars. Huh? It doesn't really have a rating system. Just go with it. So there it is, my spoiler-free review of Lev Grossman's The Magicians. Now let's talk about me. My first published work, a short story collection called Evil Grows in the Dark, comes out March 1st. Check it out on Amazon. Also, if you like to write, consider entering your story in my prize-pursuing, emotion-evoking, drama-demolishing, simile-scrambling, sinfully scintillating, awkwardly alliterating, trope-torpedoing, terribly titled short story competition. Of doom! 7k words or less, any genre, cash prizes, what are you waiting for? Submissions close April 1st, winners announce May 1st, there's a video with all the details linked in the description. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, and please come join my newsletter at kentshawn.com. Till next time, bibliophiles, keep turning pages. Simile scrambling, stand up on the other side of the head right here. Sinfully scintillating, awkwardly alliterating,